Greetings YouTube, Farmer Son Prepping here. The sun is finally out after, I don't know, four or five days of spitting rain and cold. So I thought it'd be a good day for another walking talk. This time we're just going to walk around the pond here on the farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put y'all in my front pocket right here using the outside camera. And uh, we'll see if we can make it work. Got my pack. I need to put it on. I did get my pack down to roughly 30 pounds. So I'm below my limit now. So we're going to do a walk and talk. God knows I need the exercise here. Where is my sternum strap? There, beasting it. Make sure it ain't twisted. And I've got a waist strap around here somewhere. Need to make sure it's not twisted as well. All right, y'all. Let's see if we can make this work. I'm going to take my... Where does that pop? It goes... It pops and goes down somewhere. Right there. Take my radio, just in case I want to test something out with it. Yeah. I probably should have put it on my pack. I guess I could do uh, maybe stick it right here. Sorry, y'all. We'll stick it on the pocket. Clip it right down there. All right. Doggies, you can go walk. Come on, let's go walk. Oh, they love this. Hope y'all are having a blessed day today. I'm so glad to see the sunshine, I don't know what to do. So I figured I'd, we'd take a walk, do a walk and talk. The dogs are already kicking it off here, having a good time, wrestling. We need to be getting out with our packs. And, uh, you know, get used to walking with them. It's important. Something's hanging. That, that's my silky saw. It's hanging off back there. I'm looking at my shadow. All right, dog, move. Don't knock me down. So, it's a beautiful day today. I guess y'all can see that. We got uh, a few clouds in the sky. Come on, Rocky. Rocky's a little old. He gets where he wants to stay at the house all the time there he goes you have to kind of give him extra encouragement to get him past where their territory is come on boys let's go walk all right boys simmer down now uh temperature feels like it's in the high 60s range which is nice i'll take it Uh, so yeah, I just thought it'd be a good day for a walk. Had a great uh, day today at church. Many, many blessings I always receive when I go to church. See my church fam. I think I'm gonna move this radio to the other side. Need to watch where I'm going here while I'm doing all this. There we go. That's better. I hope y'all can see okay. I guess we'll see when I get back. Test watch it all. Alright. 
just a beautiful day to be outside. Hope y'all can hear me okay. I guess we're hoping on, on a lot of things today. Doing a lot of hoping. It's good to get out and get your pack out. I did lighten my pack up, y'all. I finally got it below 33 pounds. She's around 30 now. Took a few things out. I had some redundancies in there. I took some of those out. Uh, I had a couple of extra, well, I had an extra flashlight. I took it out. I had a I had two multi-tools in there. There was no reason for that. Didn't even realize there was two in there, so I took one of those out. Uh, some of the little multi-tool gadgets that are made for key rings, I took them off. I took them out. This big gravel's hard to work on with my bad leg, y'all. You get out here on the grass, we'll do better. Ow. It's like, if my ankle gets twisted wrong, dude, I'll allow to go down here. I'm trying to be careful. That's just the thing. Being old, bites. That's better. All right, boys. Move. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Where's Rocky at, huh? Go find Rocky. Where's he at? Come on. Let's go. We're down here by the lake now. I'll uh, kind of show you around there. Maybe y'all can see that. I'm trying to bend over so y'all can see. Feels kind of weird having, uh-oh, I just found something here. Uh, I found a piece of a rod and reel, y'all. Look at that. Huh, somebody's missing the top end of their rod. Hmm, I might keep it. I might can do something with it. I might whoop this dog with it. Craziness. Yeah, somebody's missing the top of a rod and reel. Oh, well. Hmm, what can I do with that? Maybe set a trap or something, spring pole. Use it for a spring pole trap. That's another thing too. You know, when you find stuff, you try to think about what you can use it for. It's got a couple of bent up eyes on it. I'll tell you that, it's got some bent up eyes on it. Why are you walking circles around me when you got 50 acres to go put, run and play on, dog. Hmm? Ant beds are everywhere. I guess they're settling in for the winter, man. It's like Indian burial grounds out here or something. And a lot of the Native Americans in my area, they did mounds. So that's kind of why it reminds me of that. Tell you what, don't take carrying 30 pounds on your back very long to get a little out of breath. But, uh, you know, such is life. We just keep on trucking. Just can't ask for a butter butter day today. It's been cold and rainy. Well, not really so much rain, it's just spitting rain, or what do you call that? Anyway, just whatever you call it, I can't remember now. Like just little spitting rain, sprinkling all day. Hey, son. Rocky just jumped in on the other side of the lake. A pond, whatever you want to call it. We, uh, well, me and Dad have stocked this pond with blue cats, 
bluegill. Of course, there's bass in here too. But uh, we got a good many catfish in here and some pretty good sized ones. The last catfish I caught out of here on the jug was right around six pounds, pretty good size. So that's kind of part of our SHTF survival plan. Yeah, we got a pond full of fish. Not necessarily a bad thing. I'm also kind of looking in these little mud traps for uh, for like uh, sign prints, paw prints, whatever you call it, tracks. Of course, you know, scat is fine too. I guess I ought to check this thing and make sure it's still going. See if we're still recording right here. Yeah, we're still recording. Praise the Lord. Make sure I put the phone back in my pocket right so y'all don't get to shut out on the visual there. All right. We're at the dam of the pond now. You can see that. These are, we laid these when we built this pond. We just laid out bags of concrete. And after a while, they just turned into jagged, enormous rocks. Yeah, you could build walls with just bags of concrete. Just wet them all down. Obviously, the dogs are out there eating the deer corn. If y'all can... Well, if y'all can see that, the dogs are out there eating the deer corn. I guess I had you in my pocket wrong. All right. Here's a deer blind over here. I don't think anybody's in it today. Not this time of day, anyway. The doggies are going to the creek. We have a, uh, if you can see, down there by where those two big trees are, you see a line on that tree. Uh, that's where we we swim down there and stuff sometimes in the, in the summertime. And uh, that's where the creek is. That's where the head of the creek is. I never camp on that creek because it flash floods very, very easily. Moving on. Make sure I got you in my pocket right. Okay. Oh, the doggies are back. I wish I had their uh, stamina, I guess. Being in your 50s doesn't make it easy. But it ain't no excuse. We gotta get out here and make sure we're either in shape or staying in shape. Well, the leaves are starting to fall now over here. I'm on the other side of the pond now. Give y'all a view of that. This is the tree. I, I, I catch a lot of fish over here, but I hate this tree because I'm always trying to cast and getting caught up in that tree. So it bothers me. I want to cut it down, but Dad won't let me. So there's that. It's like Ripper's getting me drink. Move, son. Hey, now that we're down here by the lake, let's cut a radio on trout or our new antennae. There's a Velcro. Pop that up. Yeah, I brought my new antenna with my one of my radios here. Go channel hopping here. Oh, skip's rolling today. I can hear the uh, Mexicanos on there. 
That dude's bleeding over a couple channels. He Break 25 for radio check. I guess I can walk and do this. Come on. Break 25 for radio check. I heard that dude say he was in Alabama, which is where I am. Hi, right, buddy. Take care out there on the west side. Oh, Kobe. Oh, my daddy. Gonna be standing by on the side. Standing by on the side. Well, it seems like it's receiving way better. So that's good. I mean, I ain't exactly on a mountaintop here, so. We'll count that as a little victory here. Let me fix my antennae. That's better. What, you want your stick? Huh? You want me to throw one in the water for you? Ripper's got that look in his eye like he wants me to throw a stick for him. Oh, let me see if I can bend over here without falling down. Ah, 30 pounds, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, y'all ready? Let me get the phone out so they can see you again. Are y'all ready? Okay, go get it! I don't have but one stick, son. I'm sorry. I don't have but one. Oh, poor thing. The doggies love the lake. Alright, let's continue walking. Trying to keep our heartbeat up here for a good period of time. That's what seems to do the body the most good to keep that heart rate up for a while. <laughs> Easy, buddy. Easy. Rocky, he comes out of that cold water. He's ready to play. All right, now. Some fired up dogs there. Get him, Rock! Get him, Rock! Woo! Get him! Rocky's eight, Ripper's two. Rocky's asserting his authority over old Ripper, even though he, he is twice as big of a dog. <laughs> oh, vicious! Vicious animals! <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. All right, now. You can run in place. Don't get too rough. And don't run into me and knock me down. Whew. Dog is running. They enjoy wintertime. My dogs, you could leave them out in 20 degree weather. I swear it wouldn't bother them. Me, I'd be freezing. There they go, into the lake. Try to turn and let you see. They're having a time. Coming up on Dad's shop here. That's the building you see in front of us. There's our garbage dump. <laughs> Burn it, burn it, burn it, and then bury it and burn it some more. And as you can see, this dog's taking full advantage there of the dump. I have dogs, dad has dogs, my sister had dogs her uh also just passed away last year christopher has dogs that's my neighbor over here 
dad uh how do I say it adopted him his uh his parents were strung out so somebody had to take care of him well we're back on the driveway headed back towards the house y'all I'm gonna try to go all the way back to the porch. Maybe the phone won't quit recording until we get back. This is probably like a a loop. It's probably like a half a mile. I don't seem. I don't think how it could be any more than a half a mile. Half a mile is good enough though to get your heart rate up. I don't normally film on Sunday, but uh, it's too pretty of a day to stay in the house. Like I said, first day of sunshine we've had in about a week. You gotta make hay while the sun shines, like Dad says. Does my bad leg still hurt? Only every step. <laughs> you can't give up. I'm not taking anything for pain either. I'm just dealing with it best way I know how. Try to ignore it until it gets to the point where it can't be ignored anymore. I run the sound at our church and uh, the sound, the, the sound system and everything's upstairs, up above the uh, sanctuary. Those stairs, they make my ankle hurt every time I go up and down them. Anyway, I'm just talking a bunch of gibberish here, y'all. I'm sorry. Prep something today. Get outside or go to the store. Now, let me start all that over. Take inventory of what you got. Find the holes. Write down the holes. Go do some shopping and fill the holes. Do the things. Get outside and do some training with your firearm or your stick or your knife or whatever it is you're going to protect yourself with. Just about there. At least I, if I'm laying back for the rest of the day, I can say I got out and put my pack on and whew, did a little something. Half a mile, get the old blood circulating good. My, uh, Circulation in my bad leg is not the best, which is what it has done is it makes me a lot colder. All right, let me, uh, let me see if I can't do that. Let me see if I can't do this. Maybe y'all can see me. Maybe you can't. I'm going to uh, take this pack off. I normally have my sleeping bag on the front and it kind of helps even out some of the weight. Maybe you can see me. Yeah. That might be better. Some, uh, most of the time when I'm going camping or if I'm going out for some serious business stuff, I'll hang my sleeping bag off the front. It helps counterweight the stuff that's on the back. Boy. And that feels like a ton being lifted off of you. 
I'm glad y'all have come along. Remember Romans 12, 21, be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. This is Farmer Sam Prepping. Y'all get out and do something on a beautiful day. And that's all.